Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Welker's Farms. This is episode 6 in our adventure here. Um, I'm just checking out this neighboring farm. Uh, this is the guy that, uh, he's just up the street from us. And he's the guy that buys all the wool uh, from the sheep. If we had sheep, we could uh, sell our wool here. So we're just here checking on this operation. What's the sign that we buy eggs? Well, if we had eggs, we could sell them here too. I'm not really looking to do anything, just killing some time. I was waiting for the rain to stop, and while I was here, uh, it did actually stop. So there's probably some work to do back on the farm. I'm just looking around, basically seeing what uh, other farmers are doing. Maybe we can get a, uh, a handle on a new revenue stream of some kind. Uh, it's lots of broken equipment. It uh, doesn't look like a very um, corporation-run operation here. Um, it's kind of basic, some basic run-down barns. Um, got a couple of empty garages. So got some empty chicken coops here. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Now the doors are nailed shut. Hmm. Oh, we got a, got a door here. Is anything in here? Nope. I guess this guy just, uh, I guess he just buys wool. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really much else here. The broken down camper attached to little shed there. Hmm. There's not really much here. What's this silo? Uh, does this look salvageable? Maybe this would be a good investment. No, it doesn't look like it's in any kind of condition. Get some empty pallets of fertilizer here. Hmm. There's not really much going on. I wonder how he's uh, buying the wool. But uh, anyways, I guess that's enough sightseeing for today. Let's get back to the farm and uh, we'll figure some stuff out. I do know that uh, Rick, our worker, wanted to uh, finish the wheat so hopefully after the rain stopped he's got the rest of that wheat all harvested up and then uh, all we should have to do is bale it bale the straw and then uh, pick up the bale so let's head on back to the farm we'll check out the progress that rick made here this is another large field here to our right i don't know really who owns that but i'm not really in the market to expand our operation uh, just yet. I don't think we need any more fields or anything like that. I think we're fine with the fields we have uh, We can plant. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like all the wheat is actually done All right Doesn't look like there's any bales on the ground either. Did Rick uh, bale all that straw for me, too? Well, let's just zip in here and see what uh, How much work he did. I think he did quite a bit. There's uh, quite a lot of money missing out of my bank account so we're about five grand short so I think maybe he did uh, he did do all that work and we did pay him very handsomely for his uh, <laughs> his busy day let's close that door let's head on over here I think I've seen the, uh, the semi truck parked over here and yeah, there's the semi truck oh yeah and he picked up all the bales too well, that's perfect so we don't really have much to do we just have to uh, offload the bales and we should have a truck full of wheat here. Uh, let's go and check that out. Well, the lid's on it. Or the tarp is pulled over, so yeah, it must be full. Um, let's go put these bales away. We'll just uh, stack these up near that other stack. And then I think we're good for straw bales for now. We've got lots of straw bales. We've got lots of hay, lots of grass. Um, the cow should be okay. We shouldn't really have too much to do with the cows except wait for them to reproduce or breed and then uh, produce some uh, milk slurry manure and then we've got those three things we can sell there um, haven't quite figured out where we're gonna sell everything yet um, we still have to go around to each individual farm and ask who's buying what but uh, we'll figure all that out later on oh, there's a little bit of manure piling up there all right, let's put this bale trailer back and we'll go and check out the semi trailer and see uh, just how much wheat is in there and then we'll add it to the soybeans that are already in the silo and then we've got more crops for a rainy day all right there we go and let's see here yeah we'll just put this tractor over here we're gonna have to check on the cows too maybe we'll do that while we're here uh, we do have to go in and see if they need to be cleaned. We have to muck the stall, I guess. Is that, is that what it's called? Yeah, there's some uh, some dirty silage here. 
Okay, yep, so we'll get the uh, the bucket attached to the case tractor there and we'll get in here. Hey cows, how's it going? Doing okay today? Good. No complaints. Alright. Alright, so there's the bucket. Let's jump in the case tractor and then uh, we'll do a quick cleanup on the cow floor. And then what we can do is uh, we can just take the silage that's spilled out and then dump it into the silo. We'll save that for a rainy day as well. It's uh, free money. The silage is a byproduct of the total mixed ration. So when the cows eat the TMR, they uh, spill out silage. So I'm not really sure why they don't just spill out the total mixed ration. I don't know why that turns into silage. Or maybe it has to do with the grass. I don't know. Who really knows? But all I know is that it needs to be cleaned up. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm very happy that this tractor narrowly fits in here because I don't want to have to get another tractor with a front loading attachment or um, I don't want to have to take off those double wheels. I like that uh, the dualies in the back there. It makes it look tough. There we go. Alright, so that's all cleaned up. Cows are nice and happy once again. And we can go and dump this in the silo. And then what do we got? 47 liters of silage. It's not much, but over time it will add up. More cows equals more mess equals more silage. So, there we go. Let's dump that in there. Through the grate it goes and into the hopper. Alright, now we can go check our semi truck and see how much wheat we have in there. Just gonna put this back. Uh, where can we park this where it won't be in the way? Uh, let's check the water level as well. Let's just hook up to the water tank real quick. Top off the cows. I don't want to come back just in case they're uh, they go thirsty. All right, they're good. Let's park this. Uh, let's just leave this right here. All right, let's just have a look at the cows here. All right, so we just cleaned them up. That cleanliness meter will go up to 100% uh, once it cycles through. Uh, TMR is running a bit thin, but it's still in the green, so I think we're okay. We don't really have to feed them again. Uh, what does that say 114 hours and we will have a brand new calf so we got that to look forward to that's like a free cow um so we'll just wait for that i guess there's not really much we can do in terms of cow work right now let's get into this semi truck see how much wheat we have and then we'll dump it in the silo and that will be saved along with our soybeans for the rainy day slash county tax fund what do we got there? 47,000 liters, 48,000 liters. No, there's me without my glasses again. 42,000 liters of wheat. We can put that in the silo. And then uh, I'm not really sure what we can do after that. I'm pretty sure maybe we can go mow the grass. We'll go see how Rick's doing. I'm pretty sure there's uh, jobs that we can do around the farm uh, while we're waiting for one, the cows to reproduce. And well, I guess we could replant we do have uh, a lot of available crop space. We haven't decided on a new uh, crop to plant just yet. So maybe we can put some thought into that and figure out what we can put on the ground in terms of what we need to run the farm uh, with the cows. I think the cows are good so far. We don't really need to plant anything cow related. So maybe we can plant a cash crop, maybe uh, some more soybeans or sunflowers. Um, well, maybe not sunflowers because we have to get a different header for that. I don't really have the money for, oh, whoops, uh, I got the talking. Let's park this truck in the wrong spot. We don't really have the money or funds to uh, to buy a corn or sunflower header. Well, technically we do. We could always sell the soybeans. Uh, we can sell another load of soybeans in order to get the corn or sunflower header. But let's hold off on that. We'll plant maybe a, a cereal crop where we can get some straw bales. I don't know, it's kind of up in the air. Let's check the levels on the silo here just to see what we have in here. All right, there's our 42,000 liters of wheat and looking over at the menu, where are my soybeans? I could have swore we had about 78,000 liters of soybeans in there. Where did they go? No, there's not a glitch in the menu. You can see under soybeans it says zero. And yeah, there's our 47 liters of silage, 42,000 liters of wheat, and we don't have any soybeans. Where in the heck are my soybeans? 
Let's go see if uh, Rick knows. Maybe Rick took them and sold them. We just haven't gotten the money yet. Um, let's go see what he has to say about that matter. I'd like to know where my soybeans are. Do, 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 do. He should be here. He's always here in the garage. Hey, Rick. Um, any idea where our 78,000 liters of soybeans went? I thought you sold those today. Um, no. I was sort of hoping that you sold them today. When I was cutting the wheat I seen a semi-truck come in and empty the silo. I thought you sold them and someone was coming to pick them up. No, um, I did not make any arrangements to sell the soybeans today. Did you happen to see uh, what kind of truck it was? It was a big gray trailer that is all I seen. After it filled up it drove across the field to the south and into the woods which I thought was weird. You don't think that someone would try to steal almost 80,000 liters of soybeans? Well, if I didn't sell them and you didn't sell them and someone came and got them, then someone is definitely trying to steal almost 80,000 liters of soybeans and I know exactly who to go and talk to. I'm going to step out for a little bit and you let me know as if anything else happens. Ah, here we go again. All right. I know exactly what's going on. If you think about it, we've got two signs on our front lawn. We owe $20,000 every midnight, and we've got only $20,000 left in the bank. And now, magically, our cash crop is missing. So, there's got to be only one person that can be behind this, and we're going to go pay that person a visit right now. All right, let's hope to God he does not let me into that office because I will tear his head off. How dare you take crop out of my silo. David, David, you get out here right now. Where the hell are my soybeans? Soybeans? I have no idea what you're talking about. Like hell you don't. Where did you hide that ginormous trailer of 80,000 liters of soybeans? Tell me right now. Trailer? Are you crazy? All I know is that you have a $20,000 payment due at midnight. If you can't pay it, then your farm gets sent back to the county. You're behind this. I know you are, you little weasel. You're trying to steal my farm. That's a great story. Too bad no one is going to believe you. After all, I am the mayor and you are just an outsider. Well, you won't be the mayor for long if I have anything to say about it. Anyway, I hope you find your soybeans. I was thinking of adding a few more signs to your farm. It would be a shame to see all that hard work taken away from you. Oh, that guy gets me so mad. I'm going to fix him. First, we've got to find those soybeans. Now, let's think back to what Rick said. He's seen the truck go south across the field and into the woods. Those woods come right back out over here. So the truck has got to be in here somewhere. So we've got to find the truck. There's a path that goes back here into the forest. And I think, oh yeah, remember the last time we were here, there's an abandoned farm where they went and dumped my pickup truck into the pond. It's got to be around here somewhere. Where is that abandoned farm? It should be just up here. Oh, I think I see some buildings. Yep. Yeah. There's empty abandoned sheds over here. It's a run-down old abandoned farmland place that's now overgrown with trees and bushes and garbage equipment. It's got to be around here somewhere. Where the hell can you hide like a 53-foot trailer with 80,000 liters of soybeans? I don't see it over here. It's got... Oh, wait, is that it? There's a big gray trailer parked in that busted up shed. That must be it. That must be my soybeans right there. Hidden right by the shop in the old abandoned farm. Let's see if we can back the car up. Let's see if we can jump up and see my soybeans. Is that it? This is the gray trailer that Rick's seen. This has got to be it. Oh, yep. These are my soybeans. This is an 80,000 liter trailer and it's almost full. 78,000 liters of soybeans sitting here. I wonder what they were going to do with them. Were they just going to hide them from me so I couldn't sell them and make my payment? All right. So before David finds out that we found the soybeans, we've got to get back to the farm, grab the semi, and then put the soybeans back in the silo. Oh, man. That literally saved my butt. And now he's going to add more signs to my farm. We've got to get this under control. We've got to get this guy 
out of the mayor's office. And then you know what we're going to do? I think, I think that there's an election coming up. If there's an election coming up, there should be. It's just about that season. If there's an election coming up, we're going to run for mayor. And we're going to fix it so that David loses and that we don't have to deal with him anymore. Or, you know, we could probably go to the police. But as he said, who's going to believe me? He's the mayor and I'm an outsider. No one is going to believe my story that the mayor is in a plot to steal my farm. Anyways, let's get into the semi truck here. We'll detach the uh, Load King trailer. We'll go and grab that other trailer full of my soybeans. Man, I can't believe he would stoop so low as to steal my crops. See, he's trying to take money out of my pocket so that I don't make these loan payments. You heard him. He's going to take my farm back to the county and then he's probably going to farm the land through the county and then launder money like he did last time. We can't let him do that. We can't let David win again. This man has to be stopped. And the only way to do that is to get him out of the mayor's office. So we're going to have to think of something. Oh, I should ask around. After we get this soybean thing taken care of, we're going to put a lock on the silo, that's for sure. Maybe we'll park our uh, semi-truck underneath it so that no one can drive in it. So that way uh, the crops will be safe. And we're going to ask around town to find out when the next election is. Hopefully it's soon. And then we can try and uh, fix the election. Or maybe we can campaign normally. I don't know. I am an outsider. I don't think anyone's going to vote for me. So we've got to get David out of the mayor's office to stop all this crap from happening to us. Oh, my precious little soybeans. There you are. A lizard idea liner. Yep, 78,000 liters of soybeans. That's exactly what I had in the silo. Man, I can't believe he tried to steal my crops. We'll let this, let's get this back into the silo. And then we'll uh, dispose of this trailer. And you know what I think a fitting thing would be? Since they tried to drown my pickup truck. Actually, they did drown my pickup truck in the pond last time I was here. I think it's only fitting that we dump this trailer into that same pond. So let's get back to the farm, dump these soybeans, and then we'll figure out what to do with this trailer. Oh, okay, finally back at the farm. Let's get our precious cash crop back into the silo. Now, this, okay, this will work. Let's dump this in. Oh, these doors open from the back. Oh, it's hitting my silo. It's causing damage. Come on. Right, we gotta get this done quickly before David realizes that we found the soybeans. All right, there we go. Back in, let's have a look at the silo menu one more time, just to make sure that they're all there. And there they are, back in their rightful home. 78,000 liters of soybeans, that's a lot of money right there. All right, now let's ditch this trailer. All right, now this spot back here by this uh, old abandoned farm, is the spot that if you remember from the uh, first season uh, of Welker's Farms in our adventure they stole my pickup truck and they threw it in this pond right over there by that rock I see they fished it out because I left it there and I had to walk out of town with my tail between my legs because David had beaten me but not this time David I'm not giving up so what we're gonna do is let's just back this up we'll go through the trees and we're going to dump the trailer into the pond. And then he can fight with it to get it back out. Or he can eat the cost of the trailer. Because, quite frankly, it's not my trailer. I don't care. Alright, let's see if we can maneuver through these trees here. There we go. That looks good. Alright, now we don't want to put the truck... We don't want to put our truck into the pond. That's not good. Let's just detach. And push it back a little bit go all right she's almost in the pond let's just turn around we'll try and ram this thing in as deep as it can go there we go let's give it a little push into the drink see you later trailer good luck getting that out that's a heavy trailer even when it's empty it can go in a little further I think Oh, one more push. Oh, there it goes. It's on its side. Oh, and we pulled it back over. 
and I don't think it's going to flip over. But I think it's in far enough that it's not coming out of there. Come on. Oh, we are going to damage our own truck. All right, I think we'll just leave it there. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. All right. There's your trailer, David. Come and get it. That's what you get for trying to steal my soybeans. All right, now let's get back to the farm. And we have to rig up a system. We don't have a silo lock. I don't even think they make silo locks. But uh, we're going to have to park the semi-trailer underneath the fill nozzle so that no one can steal any more crops from us. Um, I guess the safest bet would be to probably sell all those soybeans and keep the money in the bank, but if he's going to add more signs to my farm, maybe that's what he wants me to do. Maybe he wants me to, maybe he wanted me to find the soybeans so that I would panic and sell them so that he could place more signs on my property and then get more money. Uh -huh. See, David, always thinking one step ahead of you. All right. So let's just park the semi-truck underneath the fill nozzle. And then uh, I've got a plan for those two signs that he's got in front of my yard there. But let's get this done first. And then uh, we've got to warn Rick too about what's going on because now someone's got it in for us. Bad things are probably going to happen um, in the days to come because I'm not going to take any more of David's crap. I'm not going to stand for this. All right, let's go talk to Rick first. All right. Well, actually, first, let's take care of these signs. Here we go. Yep, these signs are made out of wood. Guess what? These wooden signs, no match for Mr. Chainsaw. See you later, signs. Goodbye. We're just going to chop these down. There we go. How do you like your signs now, David? They're gone. They're now garbage. We're going to burn them in the wood pile. That's right. No more signs, no more $20,000 payment. Haha. -ha. All right, let's go put my chainsaw away. Do, 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 do. I kind of feel better about myself now. All right, there's just one thing left to do, and we have to park the semi truck underneath the fill nozzle of the silo so that no one, can now, no one else can drive anything under there. We'll take the keys out and we'll set the emergency brake and everything so they can't push it out of there. I think the trailer has a lock too, so it's going to take quite a quite a heavy piece of machinery to get this semi-trailer and truck out from underneath my silo. But I'm done taking the crap from this guy. It's time to start fighting back. And if we have to fight back dirty because that's what he's doing, then so be it. We're going to take on the mayor of Welker Farms. So sit back, hold tight and prepare for another adventure. We're gonna lock up the cow barn because bad things are coming. All right, okay, all buttoned up. Let's just make sure this is okay. Good, closed. All right, folks, that is gonna wrap it up here on Welker's Farms. Don't forget, tune in next week to figure out exactly what's going to happen here on our farm. Now that we've painted a target on our back with the mayor, He's going to be gunning for us. We'll see you next week.